solve the equation uh, z plus 1 the whole cube is equal to 8 where z is a complex number give your answer in terms of w where w is given to be cis 2 pi by 3 and w cube is equal to 1 hence so otherwise show that the sum of roots of this equation is equal to negative 3 so let's first start uh, what does okay so let me use the white color so if suppose let us start with an if so if suppose z cube is equal to 1 this implies z has got three roots so your z1 is 1 says 0 I'll explain this diagrammatically so this is 1 says 0 which is nothing but 1 the other root would be 1 says 120 and the third root would be 1 says 240 so when you're saying z cube is equal to 1 what do we mean there are three roots at an angle of 120 of each other so let me draw this is these are the two lines so this is your y-axis or this is your imaginary arm and this is your real arm okay so your circle so you've got so this is your real arm and one root is this is one this is one which is one cis uh, this is one cis zero the other root will be at an angle of 120 and I suppose imagine this as a distance of this is 120 degree so and the third root will be here okay so this is only a sketch so this is this is your z1 this is your z1 this is your z2 and this is your z3 so there are three roots which are at an angle of 120 so this angle is 120 degree and this angle from year to year is 240 so these are the three complex roots or two complex z2 and z3 are complex roots and this is a real root okay so this is your z2 and this is your z3 okay so what does that mean okay so let us leave that as it is so we'll say now w is given to be now we want to write your answer of answer in terms of w and w is given to be uh, one uh, sorry sis this is one so one is understood so this is 2 pi by 3 is 120 degrees so w is given to be sis uh, 120 degree so how do I do that off my head I see this is pi is 180 pi variance is 180 so 2 times 180 is 360 divided by 3 is 120 so if w is cis 120 w squared so using Dimbov's theorem using Dimbov's theorem theorem what can we say if you square this z squared is equal to uh, 1 I'll write 1 cis 1 cis 120 to the power 2 so you have to square the 1 so that is 1 and you have to multiply the argument so this is 1 cis 240 or this that is so w we are saying if w is cis 120 w squared is cis 240 okay now what did we say just now now when z cube is equal to 1 this implies we saw that z1 your z1 is 1 your z2 is cis 120 cis 120 and your z3 is cis 240 so I want you to stop and think what should I do in the next step 
Okay, hopefully you have thought over it. So this, therefore, uh, this implies, this implies, if z cube is equal to 1, this implies z1 is 1. There's nothing wrong there. z2 in terms of w. What is cis 120? That's given to be w. And z3 is cis 240, which is uh, w squared. So we have written this in terms of w squared, or in terms of w. So if z cube is 1, this implies z1 is 1, z2 is w, and z3 is w cube. So now we need to go back to the question. The question is z plus 1 the whole cube. Therefore, using the same argument, if it is z plus 1, the whole cube is equal to 1. This implies, you can say, uh, sorry, is equal to 8, isn't it? Is equal to 8, it's not 1. So we need to do a little of work there. So what can we do here? So I'm going to divide both sides by 8. So this is C plus 1, the whole cube over 8 is equal to 8 divided by 8. So I can say, well, this is z plus 1, the whole cube, over 8 can be written as 2 cube is equal to 1, which implies I can write this as z plus 1 over 2, the whole cube is equal to 1. Okay, so let us go back. So we said if z cube is equal to 1, we end up with three results, that is 1, w, and w squared. So can you compare this with this? So this, this is equal to 1, and this is also equal to 1. Therefore, I can say this implies z plus 1 over 2 is equal to 1, z plus 1 over 2 is cis 120 and z plus 1 over 2 is cis 240. Cis 240. Okay, so now we want to make z the subject here. So this implies cross multiplying or multiplying both sides by 2. z plus 1 is equal to 2. So we can say z1 is equal to 1 c1 is equal to 1 in this case. Okay, so what will you do here? Okay, so if you multiply, if you, uh, this, this is, okay, I, I should change this to w, and this to w squared. So let me write this as w, and this is w squared. So this implies, can I, Cross multiply both multiply both sides by 2, z plus 1 is equal to 2w. So I can say z2 is 2w, 2w minus 1 is 2w minus 1. Okay, and here again cross multiplying both sides by 2, z plus 1 is 2w squared. So I will say z3, this implies z3 is 2w squared minus 1. 2w squared minus 1. So what can we do now? What's the question? The question is the sum of roots. Okay, so let us add these roots. So we can say z1 plus z2 plus z3 would be equal to 1 plus 2w minus 1 plus 2w squared minus 1. Okay, so what will happen? So this is, this will end up with, uh, what will cancel, get cancelled, you got plus 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled. So you're left with, this is equal to 2w squared plus 2w 
minus one. So the next step is a bit tricky. I'm going to write this as 2w squared plus 2w plus 2 minus 3. There's a reason which I cannot explain now. So I'm going to factorize. What can you factor out here? You can factor out a 2 here. So if you factorize 2 out, you've got w squared plus w plus 1 minus 3. So this is your z1 plus z2 plus z3. So when you're coming at this stage, you wonder what are we doing? Okay, are we getting anywhere near the answer? I want you to pause the video and try to do the next step if you can. Okay, so this is your answer. So let us leave this as a result A. Okay, let us go back. I can't go any further from here. So now what's what's the other information that we have? We have been given this information that W cube is equal to 1. So let's see what happens there. So W cube is equal to 1. So it means W cube minus 1 is equal to 0. So factorizing this, you can say this as you can use a formula called a cube minus b cube. This is a very powerful formula. a cube minus b cube is a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. I'm not going to explain this. Uh, you can check this formula by expanding the right hand side. If you expand the right hand side, you can get this. Now just for you to do some work yourself, this has come from this has come from the cubic formula. I'll write that so that you can do some work yourself. A cube, A plus B, the whole cube is, if you expand this, this, this will be A cube. Using the binomial theorem, you can do this yourself. 3A squared B plus 3AB squared plus B cube. Now from this, you can get this. Okay, I'll leave that to you to prove yourself. So this is using this formula. So can I say this is W cube minus 1 cube is equal to 0. Now you can compare your W with A and your B with 1. So using this formula, I can say this is W minus 1 times A squared is W squared plus A times B, which is W times 1, which is W plus 1 is equal to 0. So now this is a product of two numbers. So this implies you can say w minus 1 is equal to 0 or w squared plus w plus 1 is equal to 0. But so this implies w is equal to 1, okay, or w squared. So again, I want you to stop and think whether the first answer makes sense or not. So when you say w is equal to 1, what does that mean? That this is a real number. But if you read the question properly, let's go back to the question, that w is a complex number. It's not a real number. This is a complex number. So it's given, you should read between the lines. So it, what they're saying is w is a complex number. I'll write c in for complex number. So here we have to say, but but w is a complex number or you can write but w is cis 1 is cis 120 or 2 pi by 3 which implies w is not equal to 1 which implies this result only holds true so you can say w squared plus w plus 1 is equal to 0 okay so this is result b let us call this result b Okay, now what is the result A? In result A, do we have W squared plus W plus 1? Yes, we do have W squared plus W plus 1. And what have we proved in B? We have proved that this is equal to 0. So let me write result A again. Now, uh, Z1 plus Z2, which is your sum of roots, plus Z3 is 2 times 
which is equal to 2 times w squared plus w plus 1 minus 3. Okay, this is nothing we have got from A. This is from A. From A. So in place of this, what can I put? This, this is equal to 2 times 0 minus 3. Minus 1, I think. Where was the? Uh, 2 times... The sum of root is negative 3. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So this is 0 minus 3, which is minus 3. And that's what we wanted to prove, that the sum of roots, therefore, we can say z1 plus z2 plus z3 is equal to negative 3. And we have proved what we were supposed to prove.